Hello everybody and how are you all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here with you once again and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are back here in the world of Kebab Chefs, the restaurant simulator. It's been a little bit since we've been here and I wanted to kind of come back to this one because it, it was a lot of fun that we, last time we were here and last time that we were here, uh, we were having a little bit of an issue that we've now since found the, uh, the solution for thanks to a loyal viewer that helped us out. So when we were here last time, we were trying to figure out exactly how to make things work with the, um, with the kebabs, uh, because I was not paying enough attention to the instructions on how to do that. And since we really need kebabs for uh, getting our next gourmet in here, I figured that this would be a good time to try and get back to this now that we actually know what we're doing. Uh, so we're going to see if we can get some of those kebabs going, and that will help us get closer to getting the next gourmet in the house. So if we go back to our menu, and if we look at our menu, um, we have these simple kebabs that we need to do, and we need that for this gourmet. So we need 13 simple kebabs, and we also need some, some schnitzels, and we need some chicken soup. So we need to start with the kebabs. And then we can work our way up to the other things. Now, if I remember right, I do actually have some of the kebab meat still in the fridge here. I do. It's down there. It's been down there for quite some time, uh, but it's still there. And so we can, we can put that on the menu. And then we can also ponder what else we're going to put on the menu to go with it. And we'll get everything for that prepped, so that way we got a couple different things going on. So let's take a look at our menu. We're going to go back here. We're going to put the simple kebabs on for sure. And that needs some garlic and some green peppers. And then I think I'm going to I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm going to go with the... Uh, I might just go... Do I want to go with the french fries? I might just go with french fries and keep it nice and simple. So just have these two things on the menu not get too crazy, not not go over the top, just have these two things and have that be enough. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that and I think we'll be good. So if I look then, so for the French fries it's easy. I just need potatoes. So there's no big deal there. Uh, that'll be nice and simple. Nothing to worry about on that end. So I do need to get some potatoes. When it comes to the kebab meat, I do have enough to take care of that but I'll probably need to get some more garlic and some more green pepper. So I think I'm going to need one more piece of garlic. And someone did actually have a, a good suggestion of taking all the meat and putting it on one shelf and having all the vegetables, putting that on another shelf. I can't remember who gave me that suggestion, but whoever it was, thank you very much for that because that is a good idea to try and keep things more organized. So we will do that. And I am going to take these bowls and I'm going to put them on these shelves as well because it makes sense to have the bowls on the shelves. I may actually also take this kindling and this coal and put it on the shelves to the extent that I can just to not have that stand uh, on my cooking surface or on my uh, counters here because I don't really need it there. So I got a couple bags of charcoal. I got a bag of kindling. There's some charcoal in here, but I, I want to make sure that I've got enough. So I'll probably get, well, I've got enough charcoal. I'll need to get some kindling at some point, but I don't need to worry about that right now. So I need probably two potatoes, I need one thing of garlic, and I need a couple things of green peppers. And then I think we're good. So we're going to do that. So two potatoes, one garlic, one thing of green peppers. Um, or two green peppers. That's what I meant. Two potatoes, one garlic, two green peppers. There's two potatoes, there's one garlic, there's two green peppers. And that will work. So that will give us enough to take care of both uh, that'll give us basically two rounds of French fries, and it will give us one round of, or, or an additional round of kebabs. So we'll have everything that we need for all of that. So we're going to just set this box right here for the moment. Open this up, take everything out of here. So we've got a potato, and we've got another potato, and we've got some garlic, and then we've got some uh, peppers, and we got another pepper. There we go. So now all that's there. I've got everything I need for the kebabs. So this is ready to go. So we're going to take this. We're going to set it back there. And then we are going to get everything that we need ready for the potatoes. So we're going to just get this all ready. So we're going to get both of these out here, both at the same time. Get them all cut up. 
I also need to get some uh, some sunflower oil. I forgot about that. So we're going to get these cut up, get them all into nice slices. And we're going to slice that up again. Going to go here, slice this one up, and then slice it up again. And then we're going to take both of these, uh, put them back both into the fridge, put that in there. So now we got everything I need for two rounds of French fries, which should be good. I'm feeling pretty good about that. But I knew, do need some sunflower oil to put in the basket. So let's run over, grab some of that, which is right over here at the market. So I'm going to get some sunflower oil. Going to run right over there and grab some of that. Put that in there. Thank you very much. Good to see you. It's been a while. We will try and make this all work properly this time. I'm feeling good about our chances. Okay. So we're going to open our door, close our door, and we're going to come in here, just take this bottle, immediately uh, grab it, and we're going to do that and put that right in the fryer. There we go. That's all good. So now we've got our, I'm going to, let's see if I remember how to do this. So I've got a few skewers. So I think all I got to do is take the skewer and put it into the meat. There we go. That's all I got to do. I'm going to set that there for now. I've got the uh, potatoes, so I'm going to get those, set those there. I'm going to need some garlic that's going to get grilled, and I'm going to need a green pepper that's also going to get grilled. There we go. So we got everything we need. I'm going to also take some charcoal, and I'm going to turn on the fryer, and I'm going to take some kindling, and that'll give us everything we need. So we're, we're leaving nothing to chance here. So there's actually, oh, there's, it says there's 111 grams in there. I'm still going to take nothing. I'm going to leave nothing to chance. Put this back here, and then get our kindling, put that in there. And now we're all set there, and I can I can get that started. So we'll get that started, might as well. I'm gonna take this basket out, set it here, grab the fries, put them in there. So there we go. Fries are in there, I'm gonna grab a couple of plates, so that way I've got plates ready for serving all of this up. And I'll take the other plate and I will set it over uh, here. So we're going to take this plate, we're going to set it over here. So I got plates for everything. That's going to go in there. This is going to go on the grill. So we're going to put this on the grill right about there. We're going to grab the pepper, throw that on the grill. We're going to grab the garlic, throw that on the grill. I think I got everything I need. I think we're good. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I'm going to take it for granted that I have everything um, and hope for the best. All right, flip that over. Okay, the garlic and the green pepper are both working their magic. The french fries are working their magic as well. I probably should have done these things one at a time. That would have probably been smarter. So we're going to grab some of this, throw on some uh, mayo. Okay, we're going to grab this. We're going to take this. Now we're going to take that, detach it, and put that on the plate. Get rid of the skewer. There we go. And now we're going to grab the garlic, set it there. We're going to grab the pepper, set it here. Take this, cut it up into slices. There we go. The slices now go, whoa, uh, take that, and that goes there. We're going to run this over as fast as we can. I should have done these one at a time. Uh, simple kebabs. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's see if we can get the french fries. These are probably not going to be as good because I have taken too long to get them served. So these are going to be a little bit chilly. Just set that right there. And then this is going to go here. There we go. We got some french fries. Ah, uh, yeah, that was actually pretty good. So we didn't lose too much on the way of heat. So I'm I'm glad for that. All right. Should I get another table? Uh, I'm, I'm going to hold off for now. I'm just going to hold off, and we're going to just kind of keep going with this and see how we do. Uh, crawl before we walk. That's the way I kind of look at things. Okay, here we go. Let's open it up. Day seven. The kebab shop is open for your convenience. Okay, I think we're good to go. I'm going to get a couple more plates out ready to go. So I'm going to set one of these here. I'm going to set one of these uh, here. We're going to see how we do in terms of people ordering things. So I think we've got enough. Uh, yeah, we've still got enough meat. Uh, the restaurant is up to level 6. So the important thing is that when we get up to level 10, at level 10 we can actually hire some people to help us out. So we can hire some waiters. And that's going to be very useful for us and uh, because that will give us more time to just basically stand back here and do everything we need to do back here. 
And that's always good when I have one less thing to do because I am very easily confused. So <laughs> we're going to do everything we can to try and keep ourselves as little confusion as possible. Okay, so we had two people have some french fries. We got one that's getting some kebabs. And how about you, ma'am? You're also getting kebabs. That's good. So we got two kebabs. We got two french fries gone. And we're going to take this. We're going to set it in the sink. And I can get a little bit of this washed for the moment. There we go. Kind of just trying to keep ahead on the plates. We're going to wash this up. And I think we'll be able to get this taken care of while they are still eating. Yes. You are ready to go. I feel bad because I have strangers eating with strangers. But, hey, it's a community kind of atmosphere. So that's okay. All right. We got one French fry. So I should probably get the other fries going right now. Let's put those in here. Boom. Those are good to go. So that way we are not going to potentially run out of things there. Grab this plate. Throw it in the sink. Grab your plate. Throw it in the sink. And I might need to get some kebabs going as well. But at least we've got one thing that's currently rolling. So we're good there. Um, throw that plate in there. I'm going to grab some mayo. Throw that on the plate right now. And whoop. Uh, grab that and actually put that on the plate. There we go. And then the ketchup, put that on the plate. There we go. And grab our fries with our bare hands. Rotate them. Uh, how are we doing? We actually need some. Okay, let's put those here. No, I don't need those yet. I need kebabs. All right, we're going to set those there. Uh, grab a skewer. And load it up with meat. There we go. Throw that on there. Boom. And uh, that's on. Going to grab the garlic. Throw that on. Right in there. Going to grab the green pepper. Throw that on. Right in there. There we go. Get that done. Um, I really need... Oh, shoot. Uh, let's get you taken care of and out of here. Get you taken care of and out of here. Perfect. All right. Let's flip this over. Uh, can I do this from this side? I can't. That's beautiful. Oh, so much rushing. And now uh, I really need someone to eat french fries. That would really be good. Um, so this is now going to be done momentarily. The garlic I can set here. The uh, This I can set here. This is going to go on this plate. We're going to detach it from there. Set that there. Get rid of the skewer. Grab the pepper, which is now burning <laughs> in there. Uh, grab our knife. Let's get some slices. Uh, why can't I not grab my knife? There it is. Uh, throw that in the rack. Slices. Boom. That's going to go out here as fast as we can. Zip. And there we go. Got the kebabs. That's uh, okay. Not as good as it could be. Got it. Whoops. No, we want the plate, not just the fries. The mm. whole plate is what we want. There we go. And those are going to, yeah, those are not very hot. Those have been sitting out a little bit. I understand. Uh, why do people leave their garbage bags on the floor? Uh, the garbage can is right there. Okay. Thank you very much. I got to get some plates clean. Because we are running out of them. Okay, the day is over. Perfect. And you are good. Okay. Thank you. Wow. So I really didn't need to make all that extra. That was kind of a waste. But <laughs> at least we're good at making it. So we got that going for us. All the plates are cleaned up. And we will take this. Get all of our dishes done. Yeah, this is why I really need to get us up to level 10. That way I can get some help because this is right now one of the biggest issues I've got is I just don't have any help and there's too much for me to do solo. Um, and it, it gets to be a lot, but I know that once you get some help, it will be better. But it's just getting to that point is really where it is. And I know you can play this game multiplayer. and This game would probably be a lot of fun to play multiplayer uh, just to have one person that can do one thing, another person to do another thing. And kind of split up the duties. So, yeah, that'd be it'd be interesting to try out at some point in time. And I've seen people do it, and it looks like they always have a really good time with it. Um, we do have to get rid of this because we can not keep it out overnight. Um, that does cause issues with the health inspector. They're not fond of you leaving food that you cooked out overnight. So, yeah, made all those french fries. It was all for naught. Um, but thankfully, it didn't cost us a lot because those are not expensive. That basically just costs us a potato. And that's not too bad at all. All right, that's all done. We can turn that off. 
And I think we're good. I really need to get a skewer rack at some point in time. I really should do that. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So let's close it up, turn off the lights, and let's head on out. And I think we can probably even end the day. We don't have to run back to the house, but I always like doing it because, if nothing else, it feels a little more realistic. Then we're going to run back to our empty apartment with a cot and go to sleep. And then we will wake up the next day and see what is in store. So there we go. Our kebabs are up to level three. Our fries are up to level three. That is good. We're going to go to sleep. We made a bunch of money. Uh, we served nine dishes. We got automat earnings, which, again, that's that's something. Uh, I don't know what, but it's something. So we had a two-star day. I don't know what made it a two-star day, but, again, it, it's fine. It's all good. Let's get into a new day. So we now have tomato soup available. So we could take a look at our recipes, and we have, uh, if we go here to our menu, we have tomato soup that we can unlock. And then the question becomes, how do we get into the schnitzel? And I wonder if we just have to have more stars. We've got to have, or is that level 12? Or is it 12? Um, hmm. Do we have to have 12 levels of our different things? So let's see, two, five, six. 9, 10, 12? Huh. I don't know what it takes to get that. I don't know if we have to be level 12. No, that can't be it because that says 1. So there's something. I'm not sure what that is, uh, and I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point in time. But we can make tomato soup if we so felt like it. And uh, do we need to make any more kebab? Oh, mastery. So we got to have mastery. So mastery, is that just, uh, again, is that levels? Hmm. Interesting. Um, uh, yeah, there's something to it. I will figure it out eventually. So let us take a look at the gourmets. So we've done all the kebabs. Now I just need the schnitzel and I need the chicken soup. So I can start making some other stuff if I so feel like it. So let us run back to the restaurant. And let's see what we can get. I wonder what we can get. Is there anything that gets us more experience than anything else? I don't know. All right, let's close this up, turn on our lights, and let's take a look at our menu. So if we look, there's nothing here that really talks about getting more experience. So maybe I just, again, I feel like I just want to keep it simple. And maybe, uh, let's see. What is it? Oh, so what does the tomato soup take? So if we take this and if we pin it, we got to close that, open it back up again. So if we pin this, uh, I need water, I need tomato slices, I need milk, I need butter. Uh, do I really want to do that? Um, I don't know. And on top of that, I'd have to get a, I'd need to possibly get something to heat all that up. So I might just hold off on that for now and not have that on the menu because that feels like it's a lot. So let's take that off. Because um, again, I'm just I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. So I might just do, um, and it's only a three star thing as well. So I might just keep doing chicken legs and French fries, and I'll do that. That'll work. And so I'll need basically just tomatoes and potatoes and chicken legs, and that'll be fine. I just I don't want to get too far into this. And I also had someone who made a good suggestion of taking these. And moving them over by the, um, right over here by my counter. So it makes it a lot easier to see what we're finished with and what we're not. So that is, uh, again, whoever came up with that suggestion, thank you again for that one. Because anything that makes things a little bit more simple, uh, I'm all for it. So let's set these right here. There we go. Uh, right about there. There we go. Perfect. So now I've got a nice, clear visibility into everything. I can maybe even back them up a little bit more. So let's see. Can I back these up a little bit more? I really wish. Uh, oh, yeah. Grid. G. So I can snap, but I can't go. That's about as far back as I can go. That's still fine. I'm good with that. Okay. So we need some kindling. I need a couple potatoes. I need a couple of... Uh, a couple of p tomatoes and some chicken legs. All right, so we're going to get basically enough for like two orders of everything. And let's do that. And I need some kindling. Okay, so a couple of potatoes, a couple of tomatoes. And there we go. One, two. 
and one two and that will take care of that i do need to pay for you pay you for all this <laughs> i always forget about that part there we go so we got that here's the rusty spoon um <laughs> where you can get food and then go eat it at the rusty chair oh shoot i left that out um all right so oops all right well that's dead uh can we clean this out let's see can we clean that out no uh let's see how do i get the product out of there huh uh, is there a way to get that out let's see um change product that's not working so i don't know i might have to just get rid of the bowl uh, can i do that oh there we go just dump it out that was lucky i was sure if that was actually going to get rid of the bowl it did so shoo Every once in a while, you have a happy accident. All right, tomato there, tomato there. I didn't really want the rest of that uh, kebab bead anyway. I mean, it was it, it was overrated. All right, so that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Okay, now I need the chicken legs, and I still need the kindle. So chicken legs are going to be over here. We're going to get four chicken legs, so that's going to give us enough for two orders of chicken legs. So one, two, three, four. Grab that. There we go. Thank you. We're going to run it back out of here. And we're going to set these here. And then I'll put these right in the fridge. So here we go. Got all the chicken legs. Just going to set them right there, right on the edge, because we're just living dangerously like that. So there's another chicken leg and one more. There we go. That's closed. We're going to run over here. We're going to get some more uh, sunflower oil and some more kindling and then uh yeah so yeah there's a sunflower oil i'm gonna grab two kindling and i'm gonna grab one charcoal so one two and one so now i've got everything i need and we should be good to go all right let us get to prepping let us get our mise en place all taken care of here okay we're gonna get this in and uh, get myself stuck on the door because that's how we do it and we're going to take this, set it right here, open this up. That's going to go right into the deep fryer. This is going to go up here. Whoa. And, okay, I've got one extra charcoal again. <laughs> I'm good at this. And one charcoal. Perfect. So I'm actually going to oh, I'll take that, throw that in there. There we go. And then we're going to take the kindling. Um, okay, I'm going to set that there. I'm going to take the kindling and throw that in there. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, let's grab our um, chicken legs. I forget what we need to season these with, but we're going to check that. I think it was salt and uh, chili pepper. So we'll check that out. And I'm going to try my best to not actually smash, not actually cut up the chicken. I think I can do this and not cut the chicken. So we're going to go here. Yeah. So you can have everything you want on the cutting board, and it'll only cut what you're pointing at which is kind of a nice thing. So I, I'm definitely happy about that. So there we go. Going to take those, whoop, take the knife, put it in there, take the fries, put them in here, take these fries. Uh, we'll set them on top of the basket because they don't actually go in the basket until you put them in the basket the very first time. It's a weird quirk. All right, let's take a look at that, uh, the menu. So the, the chicken legs. If we look at this, what does this take again? Salt and chili pepper. That's what I thought. I wanted to make sure of that. Okay, and then salt, chili pepper, grill a tomato, slice a tomato. All right, perfect. That's easy enough. So we got to grab our salts. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And then our chili pepper will go one, two, three. And one, two, three. Perfect. That is all set. Get this lit get this turned on and we're going to grab our chicken legs and we're going to set them right on there we're going to grab that tomato out of here and we're going to set that here and that will all be good we're going to grab a plate i like this round plate so i'm going to stick with that we're going to do these one at a time this time all right flip that flip that and then now I think I can grab another plate. We'll get that plate over here, set that right about now. 
And now, uh, how's the tomato doing? Tomato's doing good. Everything seems fine. All right, that's off of there, right there. That's off of there, right there. And then the tomato, we're going to take it over here, get it into nice slices. All the slices, and there we go. This goes on the plate, underneath the cloche. And, oh, the cloche is over here. I already forgot where the heck I put the cloche. There we go. Nice. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And then we will take these, put them in here. We will immediately grab our ketchup, put a little dollop on there. Grab our mayo, put a little dollop on there. There we go. How much of that do we have left? Still plenty. So we're good there. All is well. Going to wait for these. Now, can I put them in there? I can't. Wow, that's a lot easier than having to run all over Tarnation. So I don't know why I didn't do that before. <laughs> that would have been a lot easier. All right. Fries out on the plate underneath the cloche. Uh, can I? I can't. Excellent. Look at that. It's a wonderful thing we do. Now if I just had waiters. All right. Day eight. The kebab shop is open for your convenience, and it's a little bit dirty, so I should get it cleaned up. There we go. Now that's better. And one of these days, I should really get some tables. I don't know why I'm saving all this money, but for some reason, I am saving all this money. Uh, I just cannot tell you why, for I do not know myself. But we got people heading on in. This lady is coming looking for some chicken legs. Um, the gentleman... Behind her is looking for some french fries. So that's good. Right now we're at one of each. And once we get a little bit closer in, we'll see mm. what people are looking at. So we got two french fries down. So once we get three of a thing down, then we'll probably start up another one. And again, why do people leave their trash on the ground? There is a trash can right there. That always confuses me. I'm sure there's a reason why. Mm. I just don't know what it is. Hey, the restaurant is level seven. So we're getting closer and closer. Thank you very much, ma'am. I hope you enjoyed your food. And we'll take that. We'll throw that there. Thank you very much, sir. I hope you enjoyed your food as well. Take that here. Let's see if we can get some of this cleaned up real quick. I can get a plate at least. And she is ready. Thank you, ma'am. I hope you enjoyed your food. And there we go. All that in there. Wow, a rare moment of peace. Uh, this is kind of weird. I'm not used to this. I'm used to it being like a organized chaos the entire time. But in this case, it's not. All right, so let's see. What did he order? He ordered fries, so I only have one round of fries left. So let's go right here, right now. There's no other place I want to be. going to take that, throw it in there. Let's try putting these on a different plate this time. Let's go with the fancy square plate. And a little dollop of ketchup. And a little dollop of mayonnaise. There we go. And good. You're taking the final round of fries. How about that? It's almost like I planned it that way. I'm not going to hand this guy any mayonnaise because he probably doesn't want it. So let's do that. Run. Get you taken care of. Thank you, sir. Let us grab your plate and do that. Let's run over here and grab the fries with our hot bare hands. And set those underneath the cloche. There you go. Just what you wanted, some fresh fries. Um, and you did get them, right? Yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure of that. All right. Thank you, sir. Glad you stopped in at the Rusty Spoon. Let's get some of these dishes taken care of real quick while I've got a moment to breathe. And I'm hoping that people aren't going to get, like, all of the french fries this time. Because that would make me a sad face. Are we going to do this again? Are we going to play this game again where everyone comes in and all they order is french fries? Uh, please tell me we're not going to do that again. Because I did that once before and it really wasn't fun. You're going to all order french fries on me, aren't you? Why do you do this to me? I've got this wonderful chicken leg here. I mean, I, I know that these are like the fresh french fries, but come on. Someone please get the chicken legs. You, you want chicken legs. You know you do. Yes, there we go. I knew I'd find someone who'd want the chicken legs. That, that was clutch. I've got plenty of those, and I don't have many fries, and the day is just about over. I'm going to clean up right while you're eating. I hope you don't mind. There you go. Thank you very much. Let's get you taken care of. Let's get your plate mm. over here to the sink. 
Yes, more chicken. Everybody, please enjoy the chicken because it is freshly made and it is quite tasty. So we'll get this plate also taken care of. Yeah, I can't wait until I'm level 10. I really can't. Then I'll have waiters and life will be much better. All right, you are all done. Thank you. We will get your plate taken care of. And how about you, sir? Oh, you're still eating. Um, is anyone else coming in? No, I think we're good. Yeah, the day is over. Perfect. Wow, we actually had one that didn't have any issues. That's kind of crazy. All right. So let's get this removed. And out here. And get this removed. And out here. Get our plates washed. And put away. We can turn off the fryer. We don't need that anymore. And we'll get our other plates cleaned up. And then, again, this is where it's going to be really nice having a waiter. Because the waiter can do all this. Because it's the, the one person doing all the tasks that kind of slows things down um, in a major way. And just makes life a little bit more challenging than it needs to be. But, again, we're only a few levels away. Uh, we apparently don't have to wash the mixing bowl, even though it had rotten food in it. Hey, who am I to say anything? <laughs> if they're going to tell me that's the way it's going to be, then I'm going to go with it. All right. Um, the fire will burn itself out. The radio's fine being on. And we'll close up the shop, turn up the lights, close up the door, and once again, run back to our house with a cot and only a cot. And we will contemplate another day at the Rusty Spoon. So that is now level three. That is now level four. Fancy. All right. So we made another good amount of money. We served up 10 dishes. Automat earnings were 345. It was a three-star day. How about that? That was good. All right, let's get into a new day here. Uh, so now we can make, what is that? What is that menu item? Uh, that is a, what are you? Uh, you're a chicken skewer. Okay. Um, hmm. What is involved in a chicken skewer? I'm almost intrigued. And this is a five-star dish. Ooh, wow. All right, let's throw that on there. Let's see what, what is involved in a chicken skewer. Uh, let's take a look. So if we go here, chicken skewers, if we pin this, uh, what is on a chicken skewer? So we'll close this up and close this up and open this up. So this is a uh, chicken skewers, tail fat pieces. Oh, you put the tail fat pieces right on the skewer. And then grill it. De uh, detach the skewer, and um, then we're going to red pepper and onion. Slice the onion. So then you have chicken skewers, red pepper, parsley, and onion slices. Okay, we can give that a whirl. I I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit zesty. So uh, the question becomes, what kind of chicken do you need? Chicken breast. Okay, that was what I wanted to check to see if it was chicken legs or chicken breast. It makes more sense that it's chicken breast. So let's do that. Let's close that up. Let's turn that on. So if we're going to do that, so let's go back to our menu. What else can we have on our menu along with that? Do I want to do the fries again? Because again, I'm, I'm trying to keep it simple, as simple as I can. And I am going to get a couple more tables. So let's get a couple of four tops in here. So let's see. What do I have? I've got, uh, which ones do I have? I've got those. So let's get a four top and let's set it down here. So we're going to go to the warehouse, going to get a four top. We're going to set it. And what color do I have? I'm going to go with uh, that color. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to buy that. We're going to set it right here by the door. Maybe I can move the trash can, get it a little bit away from the trash can. Let's get the grid going. So let's do that. Let's set it. Actually, let's set it over here in the corner. There we go. So it's not like not right on top of the trash can. And we'll do that. So now we got more than two places for people to sit. And maybe I'll get one more table, one more of these. And we'll go back with that color again. We'll buy that. We will set that over here. And so now we got more and more places for people to sit and not be sitting on top of each other. That's good. I'm kind of liking that. So we will get rid of that. Um, can I move that garbage can? Let's see. Can I go in here? Can I move this? Um, I can't. So the question becomes, where can I set it? I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to set this right here in the corner. 
So right there, that's where that's going to go. Because um, <laughs> no one seems to be using it anyway, so what difference does it make? Okay, we got that. Um, what else can I get to Coralize? Uh, let's see, I could get some, let's see, stations. I should really get a skewer rack. Let's get a skewer rack. Let's buy that. And we're going to set that up here because I'm getting tired of having my skewers just kind of sitting around everywhere. So we're going to say, take that, set it up. How many of these skewers can I put up there? Let's see. Uh, how many do you hold? Oh, you hold a bunch. Okay, there you go. There's a one and a two and a three. Perfect. That's good. So now our skewers are hanging up all nicely. Um, what else can we get? Now, now I'm going down a rabbit hole of what else, what all can I buy? Uh, let's see. Uh, if we take a look at furniture, let's see, we've got, um, all kinds of different shelves and sinks and, hmm, uh, I, I feel like I could get, uh, let's see. Uh, so there's our cot. Oh, this is all the stuff that we have for the house. Okay. That doesn't really hurt. It really impact much anything. Uh, how about a nice plant? I'm feeling like a nice plant. Let's do that. Let's buy a nice plant, an orange flower pot. And, oh, we can change what we put in there. Let's do that. Let's take that. Let's set it right by the door. There we go. Make everyone feel all nice and fancy. Right about uh, here, uh, right next to the uh, garbage can. Let's set it right over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we snap this? Uh, we can. So we're going to set it. Uh, oh, it's going to try and attach it to everything. So let's set it, um, hmm. where can we put it? I guess I could put it, no, I'll put it, I, I'm wasting too much time on this. Don't waste time on this. Set it right there, there we go, perfect. We've got some flowers in here, giving us a little bit of ambiance. And can we put up a light? Eh, we could. What kind of a light am I feeling? Uh, I'm feeling this kind of light. Let's do this, simple wall chandelier. And we'll set that uh, here. Can we get rid of some of these other lights, basically? I guess we could. Okay, maybe I don't want to do that right now. Let's leave that alone. Or did I already buy it? It's probably in my, it, probably in my inventory if I did. So we're all good. Let's actually make some food. That's kind of why we're here, is to make food. Okay, so we said that we're going to do some of the chicken skewers and some of the fries. So I'm going to need a couple of chicken breasts. I'm going to need one more thing, a tail fat. So let's take a look. On our menu, we've got the chicken skewers. We've got the French fries. So let's do each of those because that's good money. So I'm going to need two chicken breasts. I'm going to need two. I'm going to need one tail fat because I do have some tail fat here. Two potatoes, two garlic, two red peppers. Okay. So we're going to. So first, we're going to go over and we're going to go to the butcher. And we're going to get a couple of chicken breasts. And we're going to get... <laughs> you left your door open all this time, sir. You can go in and close your door. Uh, we're going to get a couple of chicken breasts. Going to get a couple of tail fat. Going to put that on there. Oh, I only need one tail fat. Oh, too late now. Um, can I get rid of part of it? Nah, it's okay. We're not going to worry about it. We'll eventually use it. That's fine. So that's going to go there. So it's weird that you just take tail fat and put it on the skewer. Maybe it's not. It feels weird. But who am I to question? So we're not going to worry. Going to take this. Whoa. That's going to get a little jiggly. Set that there. Set that uh, um, uh, about there. This is going to be my mixed shelf. This is going to be tail fat. We're going to set that there. And we're going to set that there. There we go. So that's all done. So now I needed, what did I say? Red peppers and garlic. And I've got a ton of parsley still from way back at the beginning when they made me buy all the parsley and I've never used it. So a couple of red pepper and a couple onion. It was onions. I'm glad I thought about that again. It was onion, not garlic. So that would have been a completely different dish had I put uh, garlic on there. Run back across. And then we're going to take this, put it into the fridge, just like before. So this is gonna go into the fridge, set that there, open this up. And we got a red pepper and another red pepper and then a couple of onion right there and right there. There we go. And then, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. And then we need, let me take a look at my menu again. We need, uh, let's see, 
uh, what all was on there. So French fries is just oh, the potatoes. I forgot the potatoes. Oh, so potatoes, sunflower oil, and that should be it. So let's run back because I forgot my potatoes. That helps to have potatoes when you're making French fries. It is a critical ingredient, and I did not think about it. Thankfully, they do not charge a, <laughs> a uh, per-order charge on this stuff. So that's good. All right, back again to the rusty spoon. Open the door, please. That helps. Okay, going to take this, open it up again. Did I? No, I didn't grab potatoes. That's what I thought. I'm like, I, I didn't grab those. So there we go. Potato, potato, and potato. And now we've got to run back, and we've got to grab our sunflower oil. And then I think we're finally good. I could buy a bunch of these. And I probably should buy a bunch of these, so I'm going to buy five this time. <laughs> Make it a little bit easier and not have to keep on, keep coming back here every time that I need one. Now, of course, I've got to figure out where I'm going to put the others after I now bought these. But that's a different story. So let's open this up. Let's see what we got. We're going to just take one of them and put, them in, put it immediately in here. And I might just leave. Can I leave the box on the floor? Can I do that <clears throat> and leave it on the floor somewhere? It doesn't like you leaving things on the floor, and you can't seemingly put it in there. Can I put it in the drawer? Oh, I can. Okay. In the drawer with you. I'm glad I looked at that. So I really should replace this and put something in the drawer, or get drawers and put something in there. Um, I'll check that out another time. Okay. So if we look at the chicken skewers, I need salt and black pepper. So let's grab this, and we're going to grab this one. And then we need to slice them both up. All right, so we're going to do this. Get salt and black pepper on both of these. So salt, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then black pepper, not to be confused with the chili pepper. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So now we got that. And now we're going to take this, cut it up into nice slices. There we go. And then we got some, whoop, don't pick up the chicken breast. Just cut it. Just cut it. There we go. And some nice slices of you. So we're going to open this up. We're going to not try and put the knife in the fridge. That doesn't work. Going to grab our tail fat. Going to set it there. And I've got more tail fat already in there. So I'm just going to go here. Get some nice slices of you. And we're going to do this. Now I'm going to actually just, um, again, put the knife down. Going to grab a skewer. I'm going to take the skewer. I'm going to get some chicken skewers. And I'm going to get some tail fat. I'm just going to immediately put this right in the fridge. That is ready to go. Look at me with all the prep. We've got some chicken skewers here. we got some tail fat down. Uh, let me set this down. Let me grab the tail fat and get this. Grab the skewer. Put the tail fat on it. And then this can stay out for the moment. Um, grab our potatoes. Get these out. And then we'll have these ready to go. All the prep work that's involved in <laughs> getting, getting your orders done. All right. One set of wedges. One set of little fries. More slices. And now we've got fries again. Perfect. There we go. Open this up. You can go in there. You can go in there. All right. Going to turn that on. Going to grab some charcoal. Put it in here. There we go. Going to grab some kindling. Going to put it in here. That is good. We're going to get that started up. I need a, uh, I need a red pepper. I need an onion. Okay, so there's all that. We're now going to grab a couple of plates. So I'm going to grab this uh, fancy square plate. Set it here. I'm going to grab a fancy round plate. And we're going to set it here. Okay. So now we have this. We're going to throw it on here. We're going to grab our onion. We're going to grab our um, red pepper. I'm going to take that again. Set it there because that seems like it works better there. So we're going to do that. And then I think the onion. So if we take a look at this, uh, we're going to. Oh, and then we need parsley. So I'll need some parsley when I'm all said and done. And I think it's just one piece of parsley. So we're going to wait, flip this over momentarily. Or do we even have to? Um, grill each side. Oh, there we go. Um, there it is. And we're going to grab the onion, set it there. 
And then we're going to grab the red pepper, set it there. We're going to grab this, take it off of here, detach it. Um, uh, do we detach it? Detach skewer into stick. There we go. And that goes on the plate. You go back up there. And now I'm wasting time with this. Uh, let us grab our onion, cut it into slices. There we go. Put that in there. Put those on here. Put this underneath the cloche. And we got chicken skewers. Oh, missing the parsley. Ah, even after I talked about the parsley. Boo on me. Okay, that's my own fault. I have that coming to me. All right, fries in the basket. Basket in here. Um, knocking over the ketchup just a little bit. Going to get a little dollop there. That's a, a rude noise. A little noise. And then we got that one. Put that on there. And then once we're good with this, we will grab the fries out of here with our bare hands because that's how everybody grabs the fries. I mean, just use your hands, man. That's all it is. And then <clears throat> I think we'll be good to go. Fries out. And right underneath that cloche, serve them up. Look at that. The ingredients they don't like as much, uh, but what am I going to do? So here we go. Day nine. The kebab shop is open for your convenience, also known as the Rusty Spoon. The Rusty Spoon is open for your convenience. And here we go. So the first person in here obviously wouldn't want the chicken skewers because why would you want that when you can have the french fries that we've had on the menu for days? Why, why would you want the 4.7 menu when you can have the 4.7 item when you can have the 3.0 item? There we go. There's a man that knows his chicken skewers right there. That's what we like to see. So now I'm just going to stand here, ponder my life choices again, wonder why it is that I keep getting myself into these predicaments um, when I don't really know why that keeps happening to me. I guess it's because I love it. I, I don't know. All right, you're here for fries. Um, we're going to hover over you and get you taken care of. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed your food. Going to get this stuff cleaned up off the floor because apparently people are coming in here with all their dirty track shoes and leaving little messes, and that's fine. Uh, we'll eventually have someone who can clean this up. Thank you very much. Let's get you cleaned up. Let's uh, put you away. Let's get you cleaned up and put you away. And I think that by then, we'll be ready. Level 8. Oh, getting so close to being up to level 10. Just inching closer and closer. Okay, so you're taking another skewer. All right, you are ready to go. Let's get you taken care of. Thank you very much. Oh, I should have grabbed your money. Uh, I don't really need that. So, all right, we're going to grab the money. Mm. There we go. And you're ready to go. Grab your money. Thank you very much. And how are we doing on food? I've got one serving left of skewers. So let's grab this and throw that on. And then I'm going to grab a red pepper and an onion. We're going to throw those both on. And that is now done. There we go. Going to grab a plate. Close that up. Grab a plate. I'll grab a plate. We're going to go with the square plate this time because we're just feeling it. And you are ready to go. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Have a wonderful day. Please come back soon to the Rusty Spoon. Okay. This is ready to go. She's waiting for skewers. And wouldn't you know it, we have some that are just about ready to go. Uh, we're going to flip this over. Or do we just take it off? Uh, do we, can we flip it? No, we just take it off. There we go. Uh, detach that. Um, uh, is it? Uh, where's the detach? There it is. And we're going to set that there. Yeah, we're going to take that. Just set it there for now. We're going to take that. We're going to throw it here. Going to get some slices. There we go. Take that. Put it on the plate. Grab this. Put it on the plate. Grab a piece of parsley that I forgot last time. One piece of parsley on the plate. There we go. Right in the middle. Underneath. Boom. There you have it. There it is. And that's much better. We like that a lot better than we liked it before. That is a good number, and we like good numbers. I'm going to take this flaming hot skewer, put it back on the rack, because that's what you always do. <laughs> that's that's the way we go about it. We've got trash everywhere. Uh, why does this keep happening? The trash can is right here, folks. Um, and why do they bring trash bags in with them? I don't understand that part either. So many questions, so few answers. Um, I just don't know. Okay, everybody's done, and I'm, I'm just sitting here. Everyone's waiting, and all right, there you go, sir. Thank you very much. 
Let's get your plate taken care of. Oh, man, we got to get a bunch of plates washed. Got a bunch of stuff that's dirty. All right, let's get this taken care of. Um, what else we got? How are we doing on day nine? Uh, okay, uh, we got enough food, so we're good. I don't have to worry about making any more food. We got plenty of food um, because we're near the end of the day, and it looks like we have servings of both. And that's the important part, is that we have servings of both. So I'm good with that. And everyone seems happy, and they're dropping <laughs> dropping trash everywhere, which must be a sign that they're happy, uh, because that's, that's generally what you do when you're happy with your food. You <laughs> drop your trash just right on the ground um, as a sign of your satisfaction. Okay, sorry for hovering. Uh, you looked like you were close to done, so we took care of that. And now, how about you, sir? We'll even hover a little bit over you, but from a distance. Okay, here we go. Shoo. Get you taken care of. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed your meal here at the Rusty Spoon. Going to get these plates taken care of. Get everything nice and cleaned up. So we're almost to the point where we can have some hired help. But we're not there yet. We're still one and a half levels away. And then we'll finally be able to have people that will help us out. And then we can really start focusing more on cooking. Because right now we're just eating up a lot of time with doing all of the basic stuff like um, washing dishes and taking care of the customers and all that. Which, it's important to do that. But, I mean, we also need to be able to just focus on the food. Because they can't cook that. Only we can. So, there we go. All the dishes are now taken care of. Um, we've got everything in there. Let's close out, turn off the radio. Um, let's close that up. There we go. Let's turn off the fryer. That fire will go out by itself, and it won't actually start a fire, and that's the important part. So we're going to go here. We're going to turn off the lights. I'm going to run here, and this time we're actually going to run to the pub, and I'm actually going to have some champagne because I had a bunch of people last time that saw when I went into the pub. They're like, Rusty, you didn't have any champagne, and you could have. So you know what? We're going to have ourselves a little bit of champagne, get a little bit tipsy, and that'll be good. Um, so we're going to give this a little drink. Bottoms up. Wow, this is a big, long drink that we got going on here. Whoa. Um, let's hope I can walk home straight. <laughs> I'm thinking everything's going to be fine. Uh, hi. Um, uh, hi. How you doing? Um, I'm okay. I, everything's fine. It's all good. Um, that was me last time I played 301. Um, are you as think as I drunk I am? Um, all right. Are we making our way back to the house? I think we are. Why is everything so blurry? I don't understand. I'm just going to stand here by the bench and, and ponder my life choices. Um, but it's been a fun day and everything is good. And I'm still a little blurry, but it has been a lot of fun. And that's going to... Okay, I'm going to stop that now. That's going to be all for this one. Thank you so much. There we go. Now I'm fine. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again, thank you as always for being a part of all of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will... See you later.